Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial from the Grand Theft Auto 3rd Watch Edition. We're going to install Visual V. Visual V. And after that, in a separate video, we're going to install Make Visuals Great Again. Okay, what you're going to need is WinRAR. You need WinRAR and you're going to need OpenIV or Open4, whichever you prefer. Now, the link is provided for Visual V down below. You're going to my OpenIV. Ready on the link down below, Visual V. It's going to look like this at gta5mods.com. gta5mods.com. Going to click the green button. Go ahead and get Visual V downloaded. 1.0. Now you're going to need WinRAR. Now before that, it should go directly into WinRAR. Just in case, for whatever reason, on your particular computer, it doesn't. You may see a folder in your downloads section that has a zipper on it. Vanilla folder with a zipper. All you're going to do is highlight it, right click on it, slide down to WinRAR over to extract then you'll get a separate folder that does not have a zipper on it okay so you're going to highlight that one right click on it slide to winrar and click add it's going to say it's not going to say add 686 it'll say add to visual v it's going to say add to whatever it is you're downloading because it's going to add that to WinRAR. Okay, you have that. You're going to go ahead and open Win. Go ahead and open your WinRAR. Open your Visual V. Before you do all of this, make sure you back up. Everybody should have a backup, extra copy of your game by now. Bunch of different people making videos always tell you make your backups. My backups on separate drives okay now once you open you're gonna find visual v in winrar up to date you decide that you don't like it it does have Take it out of your game. Patient, right there. You're gonna go over to Open IP. Make sure you have Edit Mode on. You're gonna go up to Tools. Make sure your ASI Manager all are green. Any are blue. Just click install and that'll change everything to green on each individual one. Click install and it'll change from blue to green. Also with that, if you want edit mode to stay on permanently, you're going to go tools then options and you're going to look for default work mode. Change it from read only to edit. I uh, keep mine on read only just in case you accidentally click on something before you're ready to get started. You don't have to worry about figuring out what you clicked on and try to change it. Okay, once you have your open IV open and ready, you have enough space over to where nothing is highlighted. Not going to accidentally drop it into a folder or anywhere it's not supposed to be. Have edit mode on and ready. 
back over to WinRAR to your Visual IV, and you're gonna you're gonna Visual V dot O I V. Anytime you see that dot O I V on anything, that means it's a piece of cake to install. About the easiest thing you can install. So you're just gonna highlight it, drag and drop it over into your Open IV. Or again, make sure edit mode is on. Okay, you should see a green box pop up. You can read over all of this down and take you down to the bottom. You're going to click install. Always, after that, always select your mods folder. Always select your mods folder. Never, never your game folder. You want to send this stuff to your mods folder, okay? Like your mods folder. And then you're going to confirm the installation. Go over that if you want to, exactly where it's going to go. And make sure you confirm your installation. And that is it. You're done. That's it. Installation. Successful or six. You want to go ahead and close that out. Unclick edit mode. Close. Go inside your game and check out the graphics. Hey okay, everybody, please like and subscribe and we're going to move on to make visuals great again.